Hey guys, so um, I got some new files I'm gonna mail today, and that's Saturday. That's really unexpected, and I have two of them. So let me show you what it is. I'm gonna be reviewing the Simplex Toolet Addressable Remote Horn. I think it's addressable. It came brand new in box. It came with the instruction manual, and it's also multi tone and came with a screw and a mounting plate. But the mounting plate somewhere else. But I this one I don't know why, but I tried powering it. I, it doesn't work. I'm not sure, but I still need some time to fix this. But I have another one too. Let me get my other one. This one says dead. So it doesn't work. If it works, I may take the sticker off. Let me take it off. Right there, I took it off. So um, I have two of them. I had to go buy another one because this one didn't work. I think there's a problem with uh, the the alarm itself or with one of these switches. I'm not sure. But I have the instruction manual for that and that. And I do have the mounting plate for them. I, they're not with me right now. But this one can only do continuous. And I'm not sure if you need a sync module to operate. I don't think you need a sync module to operate. But this one is multi-tone except this one. This one doesn't have multi-tone. It does with a standard tooler tone. Like this one has a normal tone like the tooler. But it has many other tones. But I forgot the tones. It, it, also has, it also has a 520 hertz tone. And the other, it has also other tones. But... If I want to know all of the tones, I need to go to the instruction manual. But these are cool alarms. I can't test them. I don't know. Um, I don't want to put a mounting plate on this thing. If I put a mounting plate right now, it's going to be like really hard taking off. Because I got it in the mail. It was extremely hard to remove the mounting plate. I don't know why it's so hard to remove the mounting plate. But these, <coughs> excuse me, these alarms are pretty good. I think this one is two wire. Yeah, it's two wire. I I was gonna buy another I was gonna buy original toolet, a normal toolet with a strobe on it, but I just realized they're smart sync and I can't power them. But so I got these two. I got this one from Ontario for like fifty five dollars. I get I actually um we have to return the money back to the owner because it doesn't work. I'm not sure if it's a problem with the jumpers or something. This has to be able to turn it on. I'm not honestly sure, but I'm still need some time to fix them. If I do fix them, I'll give you an update, but, yeah. I got this for a really good price, around 40 bucks. And the other tool that I wanted to buy had a strobe here and a horn over here. Like, you already know what this look like, but I wanted to get that, but I just found out. They're smart sync, and I cannot get them. Because I, I need a sync module to power them, and or a simple X panel. But here's one fact about these toolers. Never power them in FWR, which is full wave rectified. It's hor it's in a horn. It'll harm these simplex tooler devices. FWR, no, it's full wave rectified. It can harm some simplex devices, like the ninety two nineteen. But there's a panel. What's the name? I think it's a Firelight MS two. I'm not sure about the company, but the MS two panel gives out FWR. And if you put one of these on a MS two, the alarm is it's not gonna work. It's gonna die out. Because it's giving it FWR, and FWR is not recommended for these devices, but... But yeah, these are cool. I have two of them, the red and white. This one has multi-tone, this one doesn't. Here's our back. They look different, don't they? Oh, and yeah, the horn and this... this they look much, They look different. Um, I'm gonna try taking these plastic pieces out to show you what the horn looks like. Never mind, I can't take out the plastic pieces, but... The horn in this one, the horn in there looks different than this one, cause this horn is like a looks like a regular toilet horn. It's yet I don't know how to explain, but yeah. So my friend in school told me he has these in his building. This one is in in his a complex apartment, so I decided to buy one and surprise him. But he said his apartment doesn't have it. But he showed me on a video call that his apartment has them. But they, I told him they have them. Like I mean. He's, I saw he, on a video call he actually showed me that he had him had it, but he said it's he said they don't ha his building is in a, his apartment doesn't really have them. I'm so fast at stalking, so don't mind that. But I think his apartment uses speaker strobe toolers because speaker toolers because these come in speakers. Like if you want to power the speaker version of them, you have a seventy volt um seventy volt amplifier. I was gonna get one of these another one, but that was a speaker and I. Can't power speakers, but sorry for talk too fast. That's really all for this video. But I do have two travel batteries combined together. But I could power them, but 
I don't, I'm not sure what the problem with them are, but these are pretty cool alarms. I would, I would recommend you to buy these because they don't need a sync module to operate. I'm not sure if they need a sync module because someone had one of them and he said they don't need a sync module to operate. So I don't really think these need a sync module to operate, but if they don't need a sync module to operate, I definitely recommend you to get this instead of a normal tool alert. But it is a tool with a strobe and a horn that's free run. These are free run. That's a horn strobe tool, which is also free run. I'm not sure about the model number, but all the other toolets are smart sync. I wouldn't, I wouldn't let, recommend you getting smart sync. But yeah, that's all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe, and of course, you would hit the bell for more new videos. And yeah, I forgot to upload file on Friday. Oops. Oh, and yeah, there's nothing new in my setup here. I don't have anything new. Oops. And there's a reason why all of my alarms are there. You'll see it in the next video. I moved some of my alarms away. My 4050 and my 270 SPU is not with me. And you'll see where I put them in the next video.